Hello you over 3,000 amazing people and the 82% who have yet to subscribe. Welcome to another video and today we're going to be looking at some ideas I have that we can do for operations and PvP in Space Marine 2. I'm going to be tagging Focus in a tweet for this so hopefully they'll have a little look at it and maybe even implement it because it's some really good ideas. So grab brew and let's get chatting. <laughs> Okay, so a lot of people are already complaining, we're only in the second day in, that there isn't enough to do, they've beat all the, the operations and they're bored, or they've, I don't know, played an hour of PvP and got teabagged and they don't like it. Um, there are obviously, the game is new, it's literally just fresh out the gate and the content is light and sparse. So yes, we do need new operations and yes, we do need more maps for PvP, but we know that this is coming, so you know, enjoy just wait it's gonna happen but i have a couple of ideas regarding something that i think space Marine 2 definitely definitely needs uh and it's iconics 40k and that is boarding actions so how would that work in operations this gives the devs the opportunity of creating separate story driven operation missions that are based around the actions of boarding actions. Now, this is an iconic thing that Space Marines do. It's what they were designed for, uh, and it's what they excel at. Close combat in confined spaces is what an eight-foot-tall superhuman does. It's just what Space Marines do. Um, also, we have Terminators, and, you know, it's a nice little thing that maybe they might give us Terminators one day. Um, so how would it work? So you could have missions, two, three missions, all linking together for you repelling boarders, either from Chaos or Tyranids, because that shit happens, or you can even be on the offensive and take your squad and attack a Chaos Warship, uh, which would be really cool. Now, you can get really, really creative and clever with it, and the devs can even create a bio ship, so we can have operations going into a bio ship to take it down, killing the Necrons, destroying the fleet from within. This is a classic story and a classic trope from 40k, and it even dates back to the idea that of an advanced space crusade where it was set inside a bio ship and you run your missions with your scouts inside the ship to kill the, the Tyranids. This would be really cool and, you know, it would be just give the devs the real ability to flex to see what a, an inside of one of these ships would look like. Even the inside of a Chaos ship would be pretty cool with all of the warpness inside it as well. So there's a lot of cool scope that there that the devs could do. And it's pretty simple to do. The The, the assets are there already. The All the enemies are already done. We have the Chaos in the game already. And we have all the Tyranids. So it's just a matter of creating the environments for us to play in. And it gives you at least, what, nine additional missions if you did it right. Taking out warp drives, taking out the bridge, the commander on the bridge, taking out the gunnery decks, all that kind of stuff. You know, you could really get into some proper classic 40k style missions. And it also ties into the into the tabletop as well. We also have boarding actions on the tabletop, which is a fantastic game mode for the tabletop game. And it makes sense. Small teams, surgical teams going into ships and killing things or even repelling borders. So you're fighting alongside NPC Imperial Guard or naval personnel and trying to take down the enemies while you do it would be really cool so this would also work for pvp so of, of course for pvp the new maps would pretty much create the ideas for new maps for pvp which is always welcome because right now we only have three but one of the things that we could do is a new mode a new battle mode so i need you to picture in your head you have a map and it has three barriers that you need to take down and you have a spawn point for the attackers and a spawn point around about the first barrier for the defenders the attackers have 10 minutes to get through the three barriers and enter the objective at the end to claim their, their win. And then once you've done your first round, you switch it and you switch sides and the defenders then become the attackers and they get to do it. Now, the attackers from round one set the pace. If they can get to the objective at the end in, say, eight minutes, when it comes to round two and the defenders get to have their go at attacking, they have basically eight minutes to achieve their goal. Otherwise, the other team wins. This is proper classic boarding action type combat in 40k. It's also a completely different game mode that you'll never see in this game. And it's it would be really cool. 6v6 coming at each other, splitting down between two, two sides. Um, it would be really good. If 
Bioware in Star Wars The Old Republic can come up with a similar idea to this, then Space Marine can implement this way, way, way better. And it would be really good. And you can have multiple maps for different variations of it as well. So you're not always playing on the same map where it becomes stale. Tactics be able to get through the doors become normal and talked about and then you just start smashing your way through team composition would obviously make a really really good thing here if everyone's just going to play the, you know the random range ones and you're not going to have any heavies or anything like that then you're going to suffer um and then on flipping that onto the attackers if you don't really have any close combat elements to get into them then you're also going to suffer so it's a pretty decent idea and it would be probably a decent map as well and i could just Picture it now where 12 Space Marines kicking the crap out of each other, trying to get through a door or a barrier to get through to the next one. Now, spawn points would be a pretty interesting one. Obviously, the first spawn point for the defenders would have to be near the first barrier. And then once you get killed, you automatically respawn at a spawn location behind the first barrier and so forth and so forth. So eventually, you're basically at the third barrier, respawning in behind that just in the way of the final objective so pretty easy to do and it would be pretty fun but that's the ideas so i think there's definitely scope for of them to do some really cool stuff with space spring 2 and they just have to look at the tabletop and the stories around the tabletop came to get them and this game could be absolutely huge speaking of absolutely huge i believe when i checked this morning um we're almost at um, a quarter of a million players um playing this game and we're only into day two and that's probably only going to get higher by the weekend when people have time to actually sit down and play it or pre-orders start arriving because we know a lot of pre-orders didn't arrive for launch day or early access so there's going to be a lot of players so there's a good chance that this game itself could actually surpass hell divers 2's 430 odd thousand players at peak performance but we'll be definitely keeping an eye on that anyway but that's the video everybody if you like what i do please like subscribe share and do all that good stuff and I will catch you in the next one. Goodbye for now.